Hello, my little angels. Today, I am going to tell you a new fairy tale. Just let me finish my knitting. The Brave Little Tailor Once upon a time, there lived a little tailor. One summer morning, he was sitting at his table by the window. He was very hard working, so he sewed his next order. After a while, he felt hungry. The little tailor got a piece of bread and a little jelly, sliced the bread on the table and kept sewing. Suddenly, a swarm of flies flew toward the bread Attracted by the smell, the tailor tried to scare them away but couldn't. So he grabbed a fly swatter and swatted at them. In one swing of his fly swatter, he got seven flies and he thought the whole city should know about it. Look at me! Seven at one stroke! exclaimed the tailor. He made himself a belt and placed those words on it in big letters. He left his house and went all around the area telling everyone about his brave deed. Eventually, this news reached all the corners of the kingdom until the king himself heard about the brave little tailor who slew seven with one blow. At that time, the whole kingdom was terrified by a huge giant. Especially, he annoyed the peasants by stealing their cattle and scaring the passing travelers. The king asked to find the little tailor and bring him to the palace. Well, he said, so you are the brave tailor who can strike seven at once? The tailor was ashamed to tell the real story, so he answered, Oh yes, your majesty, I am very brave and strong. I can strike anyone. And what about one scary giant? Can you strike him? The tailor was terrified when he heard about the giant, but he was ashamed to admit it to the king, so he replied, Oh, yes, this is nothing for me. I will strike him at once. The king gave him the finest armor and showed him the way to the giant's hut. The tailor wandered along the road thinking, Poor me, what should I do now? I can only slap the flies and hear a giant... He came to the giant's hut and knocked on the door. Who's there? asked the giant angrily. The tailor cleared his throat, cheered up and said in a low, rough voice, I am the bravest man in the kingdom. You tortured the whole kingdom. Come out and I will fight you. The giant came out and saw a little funny man standing on his doorstep. He was so small, the giant could hardly see him. The giant said, Ha, ha, ha! What a funny fellow! How could you fight with me? I could easily swallow you at once. Suddenly, a tiny idea came to the tailor's mind. I am not very strong, but I am very clever and I can sew. So he said to the giant, It's not time yet for fighting. First of all, give me some food. Second of all, give me some water. And finally, get me a bed to sleep. And in the morning, we will fight. The giant was shocked to hear such a shameless young man. So he had nothing to say. 
he just let him in. That night, while the giant was sleeping, the tailor sewed the giant's mouth shut. Now the giant could not eat anything. When he woke up, he begged the tailor to undo the stitches on his mouth by making signs to him. The tailor agreed, but only on one condition. You will open your mouth only if you promise to stop frightening the people around and stealing their cattle. The giant agreed, and the tailor removed the stitches. The giant left the kingdom, and the tailor got a lovely reward from the king. He became a nobleman. He had a castle of his own and a huge piece of land. On the gate of his castle, he placed his favorite words, which made him so popular. Seven at one stroke. The whole country admired the little tailor for his bravery. The tailor was very proud of himself. He understood that it's not always necessary to be strong when you have a good imagination and a smart brain. <laughs> well, my honey pies, this is the end of the story. Sweet dreams. See you soon.